it was a Hasidic home. My father had a beard and short pears. I had long pears until about 15 when I cut them to the size of my ear lobe. Uh, the home was a poor home. Certainly by our standards we would say it was quite poor. But I didn't know it. I really didn't know. I thought it was normal and everybody had to measure the food and uh, my mother was a genius in making Shabbat with what little here. How in the world she could take one small chicken and divide it up into ten portions because there were nine children. One, the oldest, wasn't home anymore. Uh, it's beyond me. I mean, I, I look at the chicken today. Now, it is true that the chickens may have been a little larger than the fryers that we use, but it still was genius and sometimes was even capable of making fish out of the chicken. How they do it? They put in a lot of other stuff into a piece of chicken that they grind it up and put eggs and put spices and it was like the chicken grinded up. It, it tasted even like chicken, like a filter of fish, but they, there were no fish there. Now, sometimes the fish, the fish was less than a zloty and so she bought some, but she went to the market on Thursday night with a very limited budget. But you couldn't tell it. You, you walked in on Shabbat and the tablecloth was white and uh, beautiful. Uh, the candles were candles that uh, the normal size. So outwardly you come in and it looked like a middle class or upper middle class home. But the reality was that you walked in to a poor home which was dressed up to make it look Shabbistic, smell Shabbistic, and... Can you tell us a little Shabbos song that you remember that sits uh, at the table? Shabbos song, Camilla, sure, sure. That you remember from Stonskavola? Yeah. So Shabbos. Now I remember all the verses, but it would be all the same because it has the same melody. But uh, let me uh, uh, try something else. Keep on going. You're doing very good. Yeah. So they, they were they were more songs than food. And if, <laughs> That's a good one. If, if you couldn't fill your belly with one, you filled it with the other. Uh, sometimes the songs were Yiddish. Ah, uh, as vos mir zenin zenin mir, ober yidelech zenin mir. 